Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm bundled up because I'm literally about to go, but I wanted to go ahead and just record this intro. So I won't really be in this vlog because for one, it's like last year, I just forgot to post it. So I want y'all to make some Black History Month treats with me. So I'll be making, obviously y'all saw the thumbnail, chocolate covered strawberries, Oreos and pretzels. This is a little bit more detailed than my Valentine's Day because I'm making this order for like family and friends. It's just something that I wanted to uh, have that way I have something to show because I started offering like a book order like that or whatever. So yeah, um, this is old. This is literally a full year old. So I'm doing it back home or whatever. So obviously the kitchen looks different. Also, we had just, this was February and we had the snowstorm so we had just come back home and we my lash look crazy and um we had to throw a lot of food and stuff out because we had we were out of lights for like two two to four days i can't remember or whatever so there is that but i believe that's it so let's go okay first things first we are washing our hands and no no lights has nothing to do with these different color tops and bottoms I, that's the only thing i could find but i'm washing my hands i'm actually doing these without gloves because like, once again these are for family and friends but you'll see me washing my hands a lot so i'm going to show you some of the things we'll need pretzels is one we're gonna we're gonna do rice krispies oreos these are a few other different candy melts that i use so i'm just showing y'all those these are the different brands that i've used i normally get them from walmart michael's hobby lobby uh here are the number number and letter molds but there's no numbers on there i do have numbers um the cupcake liners this is the oreo uh, mold bowls i get them from walmart i think they're 50 cents or a dollar zip bags toothpicks walmart dollar tree wax paper dollar tree i like the one that you can tear and paper plates because sometimes i use the strawberry well i put them on there like the toothpicks but sometimes i sit them on paper plates too instead of the wax paper whichever one so i already washed them now i am um wiping them off obviously or whatever with the paper towel and i'm just gonna go ahead and get as many as i'm gonna get or end up dipping or whatever so i'm just gonna stick them on here and then this the smartest thing to do is you have to make sure they're dry they can be cold but they just need to be dry here's some red that i've had i had from a previous order so that's why it's in a zip bag i'm gonna put it in the microwave i'm gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil but not just yet put it in the microwave for 30 seconds for about three times so this is the first round i put a little oil in it I don't always do all three rounds. It depends on the microwave and this microwave, it play all day. So I always have to check. You see it's only 15 seconds later. So we're only at 45 seconds and it's pretty, it's melting fairly well. So that's why I always like to open it halfway cause baby, I have burnt so much chocolate in my day. I'm still burning chocolate. Yeah, I literally burnt chocolate last week. So it just really depends. You have to always kind of check it. Sometimes I do check it obviously 15 seconds in this is the full 60 seconds so far sometimes you don't even need to do all the way all the way to 90 so it really really depends so that's why i do you gotta stir a lot you want it to be runny like not super runny but a thick runny like i don't know how to explain but just stir always add oil if you are continuing to stir and it's just still pretty thick add the oil but you just don't want to add a lot because you don't want to be able to taste it so just at your best uh i don't know discretion is that even the right word but to the best of your ability shoot i don't know so i'm dipping but you see how smooth that is look at that flowy freaking chocolate beautiful too beautiful jesus christ okay but you see how pretty it is like it looks like a freaking apple like it is so freaking pretty look at that chocolate move like that's how that chocolate's supposed to look so i always just take the green whatever that's called on top of strawberry try to twist it around so that i don't dip it but you're gonna always somehow get leaves and stuff from time to time so you just shake it to try to get as much of the excess chocolate off a lot of times i'll scrape the bottom a little bit because you don't want a lot of that excess chocolate to be 
uh, stuck to the bottom. It's, it's so freaking ugly. So a lot of times, if I just don't have the patience to sit here and just keep shaking it because it'll fall off the toothpick, I'll just kind of like scrape the bottom to get some of that extra chocolate off. But how gorgeous are these? Stop playing. So you see how I got a little extra chocolate? But it's not too bad because some of them can have a lot. But these are beautiful. Now I'm going to show y'all the Rice Krispie. This is the way I do it and probably will for a while. They do have Rice Krispie molds like the Oreo one. But I just think it's a lot of chocolate to use and to eat so i only do the top of mine and yes sometimes it run on the side but it's perfectly fine it's mainly about the top of it and then i do pretzels but let me tell you i think i'm gonna only offer these pretzels because the rods i just i don't know they'll be a little bit of a hassle so i've seen on tiktok other ways to dip them but the these are so much easier because you can leave the little space for your hand and dip it in everything the rods is like you got to find something deep you know, in order to dip them. And some people put it on wax paper and they drizzle over it. I just like the little folded up pretzels. Those are the real pretzels anyways. Um, I'm putting the chocolate in the molds. That shake is really what, that shake, I mean, they get it together. Like it spreads the chocolate out super even. So I'm putting the Oreos on it, in it, and I'm putting the chocolate on top or whatever. I don't fill it up because if I fill these up, this Oreo will be so freaking thick. So I do not fill it up. I just cover the back. You see that shake? That shake, man, I shake everything when I'm putting it in a mold. When I tell you, it just literally like evenly distribute the chocolate where it needs to be, y'all. The shake is a lifesaver. I am telling you. Wash my hands again because I want y'all to know I'm not dirty. Uh, I don't want nobody handling my food that's nasty and stuff. So I do the best of my ability. And I probably, I've washed my hands way more times than you'll see in this video. But, and I get under the nails. So stop playing with her. But, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not doing these with gloves. To be honest, sometimes I prefer not to because you moving around, gloves can get germs too. Like, it's not like I'm literally, I'm doing a lot of things, you know? But this is the green. Look at that run. Ooh, that looks so freaking good. But for whatever the reason, the green still has some type of little, like, lumps in it. I don't know why. I mean, that does happen from time to time as well. You see, look, the leaf fell in. So I got to try to scrape that out as well as the chocolate got bumped. So I scraped the leaf out, re-dipped the back. You see that bump on the side? It's just chocolate that didn't melt all the way. So I'm going to scrape it off and just re-dip it. And then the other ones kind of slid out. So it's an easy fix, but I'm just, sometimes chocolate is different. So you just never know uh, what kind of bag you would get. But it is very flowy. So I didn't understand. You see, I kind of having to deal with that on both of these. So I'm just like wiggling it letting it run down scraping it off if it's like chunks of chocolate because it's super smooth i guess i just missed a few pieces but you see i'm steady just like shaking it shaking and shaking this one came out really good the first dip it was pretty good so i am pleased i just yeah it's trial and error baby it is trial and error over here so i'm showing y'all the rice crispy again I feel like i am talking y'all to death but y'all gotta know what's going on but dang let me get a little break y'all can watch and just listen to the music and watch Okay, now I am showing y'all, like, if you put the water on super hot, it is super easy to clean these bowls, especially when the chocolate is still wet, literally. Look how simple that is. Super, super easy. My mom used to always get mad at me for leaving it, but if I'm rushing, I don't have time to wash out a bowl, but I'm just obviously not rushing with this order. Boom. Secondhand wash. Getting under the nails. Stop playing with her. People at the restaurants probably don't even wash their hands as much, so do not come for me. Now, I put the Oreos in, and obviously, see the bottom is not, I'm still working on, like, just perfecting my craft with that, but the top look good, and that happens on the side, too, sometimes. It literally does not matter. Nobody's inspecting the freaking Oreos, like, you know what I'm saying? That's fine. Look how pretty and smooth. So, yeah, I think I'm going to start, like, scraping the bottoms or, like, melting them to make it even. Sometimes they do come out a little ashy. I have no idea if somebody no, please let me know why but see some of them come out perfect either way it's not gonna matter because i'm gonna be drizzling these anyways but i love the smooth look you get so here i'm using just like a little squirt bottle got it from walmart literally 98 cents right so i gotta buy some more of these because i have no idea this is my first time buying it and i loved 
it absolutely loved it like it just makes your drizzles just the bum dot com do you hear me so and it makes it so much easier when i'm putting the um chocolate in the letters too y'all like i just noticed that like looking at it i'm like i be using a ziploc bag but this is such a smoother way like where i've been and what i've been doing so i'm spelling out a happy black history month the pink icing to the side now icing chocolate i was working on a valentine's day um not order but something i was going to offer but i didn't end up offering it so that is irrelevant but i normally like to work with two or three of these letter trays that way you don't have to wait till the two day until they dry if you have like two a's and two o's or something and something you can just use the other one um so i gotta buy some more though because it's so much easier when you have at least two of them for those double uh letters you know like you don't have to keep waiting I just want y'all to see how smooth this drizzle is. Like, oh my gosh, gorgeous. Look at that. So I literally got to invest in buying some more of these little squeeze bottles because yeah, look at that. Just so freaking, just, just look good, y'all. This was last year and look how good this stuff was. So I already boxed it up or whatever. I got the Oreos on the bottom. I got the Rice Krispies. They're in the white papers as well. Just like the strawberries, don't mind the kitchen. I told you we literally are pulling about the refrigerator because the stuff is bad or whatever um from the storm or whatever so i'm just going to show you how i put the letters on so i just put the uh, chocolate on the back it's just like glue or something just put it on the back and use it as glue and i don't know is it me is all black people be like keeping dishes on the back of the stove i mean not dishes but pots and pans i don't know why we do it we may be the only people i don't know um but so i did black for the black part and i thought that was cute or whatever so obviously you didn't see me dip the black ones but the blue not the blue where is it blue at the red and green should have been enough and i feel like well shown i feel like y'all got it like i gave y'all two different colors and two different examples so if y'all ain't got it by now then i don't know do I need to, you need to pay for a class or something i don't know what to tell you but I think these turned out so cute. Y'all don't understand. Like, people love them. My family, my family was like, I don't want to eat them. They're so pretty. I was like, well, what do you want me to do? Put them in the trash? Somebody going to eat these treats. They look good. So, yeah, if anybody needs these, I am offering these uh, for two businesses. Um, believe I, uh, their price is $175, and it feeds between up to 30 and 60 uh people um i can give you more details if you actually want it but this is for black history month I, I mean i can make any color any saying whatever but i think this is such a perfect touch for whatever celebration you know that could be going on at anybody's jobs and plus if the job gonna pay for it buy it like swipe that company card what y'all doing like come on now but anyways this is happy black history month i'm gonna give y'all a close-up and just look y'all yeah, girl, this is last year, so think about it. I've gotten better, like gorgeous. But thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Black History Month. See you in the next vlog. Bye.